Welcome to the Temple of Hip Hop. I am KRS-One. We're gonna be talking about character building today as we go through our divine performances. Let's get started. Hip. y'all welcome to another session obviously like i said i'm here at the temple of hip-hop i'm always grateful to be home to be at the temple of hip-hop to be able to speak to you in this way in the temple like this as you know we've been on tour we've been uh doing our thing on tour so we've been reading from the gospel of hip-hop while on tour now I'm able to be at the, at the temple and actually just grab one of our rooms here. And we're gonna talk about truth today. Uh, we're up to uh, our lesson on truth. I'm trying to get my, my reading glasses here together. And what we're gonna do is talk about being real. Uh, this is part of, uh, obviously is character building, but this is part of, you know, uh, it's, it's therapeutic. This is part of your mental health. This is, this is, people don't realize how truth is also part of mental health. Being around fake all the time or being discouraged by something that you thought was real but wasn't, being deceived and lied to all the time or constantly, this wears on your consciousness. This wears on your ability to see clearly and make decisions. And a lot of us are numb to it. We don't realize how much we're being lied to every day or being deceived or being lured into something or tempted by this or that or let down by something you thought was one way, but it was something else. Now, out of all the subjects that you can, that the human mind can know, the one subject that demands truth is philosophy. Philo Sophie. Sophie, wisdom. Philo, love. These are Greek terms. Philo, Sophie, love, wisdom. The love of wisdom or the pursuit of wisdom. Wisdom requires truth. It requires facts. It requires that you know right from wrong, real from fake, um, cause from effect, um, this kind of thing. And so that's what we've been discussing over these last few weeks, how to discern between real and fake, right and wrong, uh, cause and effect. We're gonna read now uh, a quick lesson. Obviously, you know these lessons are quick because we are still on the go with this, but it, the truth doesn't take long to explain either. Turn your gospel right now to page 175. I'm on 175 of the Gospel of Hip Hop. Those of you that have this book can turn to page 175 and read along with me, or you could just listen to what this passage has to say. Perform truth. Don't just seek to know truth. Seek to perform truth. Be as genuine and as real as you can. While everyone else performs behind their variety of masks and phony personalities, you must be the truth in such illusionary and fake circles. This is difficult. This is what it means to keep it real. It means to be true to yourself, be true, to be true to yourself, to be your true self. Don't hide behind falsities and illusions. Such a performance leads to nowhere. Knowing truth is to know what is real. Performing truth is to manifest or actualize what is real. But what is real, uh, but, but the, the question is, but what is real as it pertains to truth? What we know to be real and what is real are two different things. 
Truth is the ultimate reality of reality itself. It is the real of reality. It is the real reality of reality. It is the whole. It is what it is. To perform truth means that what we believe to be, what we believe to be real corresponds with what is actually real. Now, some of you may be listening to me saying, well, that's obvious. But when you get out in the real world, <laughs> real world, this is not what is being practiced. Let me hit you with it again. Performing truth is to manifest or actualize what is real. But what, but what is real, <laughs> I, I'm saying it as a statement, it's actually a question, but what is real as it pertains to truth? That's how it should be said. But what is real? as it pertains to truth. And this is the hard part. What is real? What comes to your five senses? What, what, what's real? What you think in your mind? What's real? What someone of authority says? What, what is real? We, what we know to be real and what is real are two different things. I'm just reading this passage to you one more time. Truth is the ultimate reality of reality itself. It is the real reality of reality. It is the whole. It is what it is. To perform truth means that what we believe to be real corresponds with what is actually real. Most people experience all kinds of things in their lives and their, and, and their experiences are indeed real to them. But in truth, their experiences are not real at all. Experiences in material reality are more the opinions of the observer than that of actual truth. Yes, your experiences are true. Now get this. Your experiences are true. They are the reality you experience. That's an acronym. True. The reality you experience. However, they may not be the truth, which is the reality you truly have. Now look at the acronyms. One is true, the reality you experience, that's true. But the other is the reality you truly have, which is the truth. This is one philosophical way of remembering how to differentiate fake from real or, or false from, from real. True, things can be true to you, but not necessarily the truth. So your experiences are always true to you, but they don't necessarily have to be the truth. People go through experiences all the time that they say to themselves, this is real, I feel this, I've seen this, but later on they learned that they was living in an illusion, living in a lie. And not on a negative, it's not always, oh, I was living a lie my whole life, and this is not always that. It's little things like, like Santa Claus, for instance. You know, Santa Claus was true. Or I should say Santa Claus is true. It's just not the truth. The, you experience as a youngin, you, you experience, some of us experience Santa Claus at, at a young age. And Santa Claus was true while we was 10, 9, 8, 7, 5 years old. Santa Claus was true. That reality, that experience was true. But was it the truth, even at five years old? So this is the, this is the, the piece here that you can use to, to differentiate between true, which is my experiences, and the truth, which is the realm by which I'm having these experiences in. But the spiritual realm, which projects the material world into existence, is the truth. And it may be true that you are in prison, as an example. But the truth is that prison was first inside of you. Deal with the truth and you shall be free. Just as another example. Know this, there is reality and then there is your perception of that reality. Reality is the truth, but your perception of that reality is a fact. It is true for you. In the material world, what is called truth is actually an agreement as to what is real. These are called facts. 
These are called facts. And so many people rely upon the facts of life as opposed to the reality of life. And this is what most people are living. They're living in facts. And facts are real. Things are going on. But is it the truth? Is your interpretation of what's going on the actual truth? Perform truth. For truth is the whole, while lies are its fragments. Falsity is the fragmentation of the truth. Falsity takes a fragment of the truth and treats it as if it is the truth itself. Do not be led by falsities, illusions, and lies. Seek truth. Speak truth. Perform truth. Be a whole person as often as you can be. Be mindful of how many times you fragment and hide your true self for the sake of others. Practice being whole and transparent. All of this leads to truth. Truth is also freedom from the bondage of ignorance. Truth is the revelation of what already exists but just could not be comprehended or seen uh, before. Truth is the cause of awareness or ah awareness. Truth is happening right now as you read this gospel with me. For truth is the ultimate gospel, but no gospel is the ultimate truth. Truth cannot be actually written down. In reality, truth cannot even be described in words. All words, numbers, shapes, and letters are symbols which assist us in understanding the realm in which truth exists. Words, numbers, shapes, and letters, even dancing, rapping, and singing are all translations of what is really the truth. Therefore, we must seek truth beyond the material world and its symbols. And we must seek truth beyond our physical senses. These tools, symbols and senses, fragment the truth so that we may create an ordered world out of the truth that is a chaotic oneness. Seek truth, be truthful, and perform your truth. That concludes our read today on Perform Truth. The point here is to not only differentiate between what you are experiencing as truth and what the truth really is, but also to not waddle or be comfortable with ignorance. Seek knowledge, seek facts, seek the truth. Know what's going on. Don't just look at TV or the internet or even this, which you're watching right now, and just accept it for what it is. Seek truth. Ask two more questions. Always seek to know more. This is about character building, and this is part of a divine performance. I'm KRS-One. This is the Temple of Hip Hop. I'll see you next week.